The display of affection by families and friends of the PNG Wuhan students who arrived today at the Jackson International Airport was heartwarming. We are so very happy uh, since uh, uh, hearing that uh, they have been in Wuhan and now they have been flown up to uh, New Zealand and for them to come back to the home soil with the family are very happy and we, we thank God for the protection and the guidance upon their life as they were out. After what could only be described as nerve-wracking once-in-a-lifetime experience, the students displayed relief that they were able to make it home safe and sound. The experience is, I would say it's, so far it's, once in, it's been once in a lifetime because so far for us nationals in Papua New Guinea, it hasn't, we've never experienced such, but together with under the leadership of our president, um, being the Papua New Guinea community in Wuhan, it was, uh, we had everything under control. Describing Wuhan as tense and edgy as they were mostly locked up indoors. You know, from very sad experience that we were in, in Wuhan, it was like we don't have anything to do. We were like totally in darkness. Chinese government is trying its best to protect the foreign students. And I will tell you the fact, no infected foreign students in China. Nothing. The, uh, the dead and the infected people that we have, we have been, you know, experiencing in social medias, those are locals. But as nervous as they were, the students showed positivity and excitement to have reached home after the ordeal. The PNG Wuhan student president thanking the New Zealand and PNG governments for guaranteeing their safety and ensuring a safe journey from the epicenter of the outbreak to New Zealand first and then to PNG. But somehow at that time we had a good news that the government of PNG is, is stepping in to airlift us to initially in Australia, but then it doesn't work out and then we were affected by New Zealand government. So I also thank uh, New Zealand government for a very big support. Health Minister Jelta Wong was also there to witness their arrival, adding that the students will be allowed back to Wuhan University to resume and complete their studies once the virus is contained. Some of the students, uh, they're on the final year. It's very sad, they're on the final year. And, uh, they nearly finished, but there's still a couple more things to do. So as a government, uh, we'll try to put something together and get them to do it online. Uh, we'll set up a, a campus, not a, uh, something here in uh, North Lake, where they can continue their studies with, uh, with the university and then uh, hopefully they graduate. Uh, the main thing is to get them back into school. The students' travel payments were done by the Department of Higher Education and their tickets also purchased for direct return back to their home provinces. Anit Kora, National MTV News.